गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर विजय प्रकाश एंड टुडे वी विल बी टेलिंग यू अबाउट डिफरेंट बर्ड्स व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर क्राउन प्रिपरेशन और इन अवर प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फिक्स प्रोस्थोडोंटिक्स नाउ इनिशियली द बर्ड व्हिच इज बीइंग यूज्ड यू कैन सी दैट इट इज गिवन इन नंबर्स इफ यू सी टी आर टी सी टू ए टू सिक्स सो वी फॉलो एन ए डी सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफाइंग बर्ड्स in which only two digits are given although they are very convenient to understand and remember but still they do not provide a complete information and iso system is more cumbersome it is providing in three digits so it in the ada system which we follow depends on the type of the burr the burr head the shank the length of the shank and the grittiness the coarseness of the burr like if you have to do a coarse cutting the initially the gross cutting then we use a coarse burr and in a sequence we then use fine and ultra fine burrs for finishing of a preparation the initially for a preparation we use a depth cutting burrs now if you see this burr it is having rings which we use for initial cutting of the tooth and accordingly we when we use uh, on a tooth surface then that particular diameter that particular depth when we go in that means that much of tooth preparation we uh, that much of tooth reduction we have done now next burr which we commonly use is your wheel diamond now wheel diamond is for your incisal reduction if you see this burr the it's kind of a wheel on the top it is used for incisal reduction usually or lingual reduction it can also be used for a lingual reduction and this is football diamond again it is used for uh, your lingual uh, reduction on your central incisors or lateral incisors or a canine and if you see this this is very important if you see this is a chamfer burr we call this a chamfer now if we see that is it is making an angulation now the finish line which we get from this is called as a chamfer finish line so whenever uh, we have to give a chamfer finish line we use this chamfer burr next burr is your flat ended tapered uh, flat ended uh, diamond that is this shoulder now shoulder burr makes actually an angle of 90 degrees if you see it makes a angle of 90 degrees with the tooth structure so wherever we have to give uh, more reduction like say in all ceramic preparation or a porcelain fused to metal on the label aspect we will use this burr now next is your this sir uh, if you can see it is needle thin tapered fissure burr can you appreciate this it's a needle thin tapered fissure usually this burr is used for your proximal reduction your axial preparation and uh, we usually since it is very thin so uh, this is used in the proximal region so that you don't touch or nick the adjacent tooth structure also if you have if you see here that you have a tapered diamond flat ended burr like this this can be used to give a kind of uh, a knife edge finish line or a feather edge finish line wherever accessibility of that tooth is not there and this if you see it is also a thin diamond which is tapering in the end so you have different burrs you have you have different size and shape of the burrs depending on your need wherever you are using it again if we move further you have a inverted cone burr now this inverted cone burr is usually given uh, used in your uh, partial veneer preparations and this round burr which is having a round ball at the top this is for uh, initially when we have to start the preparation we can use this type of a burr so as i mentioned to you this is your chamfer burr and you have a flat ended diamond you also have one more important burr that is the 
राउंड एंड टेपर फिशेबर राउंड एंड टेपर फिशेबर यू कैन यूज अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इज राउंड एंड टेपर फिशेबर विच इज राउंड एंड एट द एट द टिप एंड दिस इज दिस कैन बी यूज फॉर योर जर्नल प्रिपरेशन ऑन द लेबल एस्पेक्ट ऑन द लिंगुल साइड ऑन द सबाइकल वन थर्ड सो दैट वी कैन डू अ प्रॉपर रिडक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कन्वीनियंस यू कैन यूज दिस दिस इज ऑल अबाउट various birds which have been used for crown preparation in fixed process context thank you for watching the video